Today we're going to divide radicals. Okay, let's, let's get started. We have radical 6 divided by radical 3. When, when you divide radical 6 divided by radical 3, you want to do something called rationalize the denominator. And what that means is that whatever the, whatever the radical is in your denominator, you're going to multiply it on the bottom and on your top in the numerator and the denominator. Okay. Now, if you've not watched the video on multiplying um, rash radicals, please watch that video, and that way you'll know, explain how to multiply, because right now, the only thing we need to do is multiply across. So, radical 6 times radical 3 is radical 18. Radical 3 times radical 3 is radical 9. And when we when we rationalize a denominator, what that does, that creates a perfect square in your denominator. Okay? And so therefore, we can say, we know that radical 9 is 3. And we can also simplify radical 18 to 3 radical 2. Now, if you don't understand how I went from this point to this point, um, let, let's just let's just do that process right now. Um, I had 18 radical 18, so I'm going to make a a factor tree for 18, six and three, two and two, two and three. So my prime factorization is two times three times three. Three times three is nine. We said nine is a perfect square. So radical 9 is 3, giving you a 2. So this is how you got that. Okay. So radical 6 divided by radical 3 is 3 radical 3 divided by 3. Now, if you notice, you have a 3 in your numerator and a 3 in the denominator. So what we can do, we know, we can treat this just like a regular fraction. If that radical 2 is not there, that will be 3 over 3, which equals 1. So 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 3 one time. So therefore, the final answer is going to be radical 2. And that is your final answer. another one. Okay. I have radical 2 divided by radical 6. Again, I'm going to rationalize my denominator. I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 6. Now, by multiplying by radical 6 over radical 6, this equals 1. Any number over itself will give you 1. So we're just taking this and multiplying it by 1. So we're really not changing this. Okay? So I'm going to multiply 2 times 6, which is radical 12, over radical 6 times radical 6 is radical 36. There's that perfect square again. Okay? So uh, radical 36 is a perfect square, and that's going to give you 9. And radical 12 is going to be, I'm sorry, 2 radical 3. Now 2 radical 3 can be simplified. If that radical 3 was not there, we would have 2 6. Well, what factor will go into both 2 and 6? 2. 2 will go into 2 one time, and 2 will go into 6 three times. So therefore, our final answer is going to be radical 3 over 3. There's your final answer. And again, if you don't know how I went from this step to 
this step please watch the video on simplifying radicals okay all right let's do another one let's try um, radical 5 divided by radical 8 okay again I'm going to rationalize my denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 8 5 times 8 is 40 and 8 times 8 is 64 there I've created another perfect square square root of 64 is 8 and the square root of 40 is 2 radical 10 let's simplify the two eights two will go into two one time two will go into eight four times so our final answer is going to be 10 over 4 okay I'd like to give you one and ask and have you solve it please if you'll please solve this one radical 5 over radical 4 well in this problem if you notice we already have a perfect square in your denominator so therefore we can just write radical 5 over radical 4 is 2 and we don't have to rationalize the denominator because we have we we don't we we had a perfect square and not a denominator so our final answer is radical 5 over 2 okay here's another one radical 3 over radical 7 if you'll please solve that one please all right this time um, I'm going to have to rationalize my denominator by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by radical 7 so radical 3 times radical 7 is radical 21 and radical 7 times radical 7 is radical 49 I've created that perfect square again so therefore radical 49 is 7 radical 21 let's see if I can break 21 down break 21 is only going to break down to 7 and 3 both of those are prime numbers so I can't break this down anymore so here's my final answer radical 21 over 7 well what if what if I had radical 3 over 2 radical 5 if you will notice I have a radical in my denominator I don't want to have that radical in my denominator so I need to rationalize my denominator so I'm going to rationalize my denominator by multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by radical 5 okay so in my numerator I'm going to multiply 3 times 5 which is radical 15 radical 3 times radical 5 is radical 15 and I'm going to multiply 2, remember we said there was a 1 right here, 2 times 1 is 2, and radical 5 times radical 5 is radical 25. Now, I've created this perfect square right here, so in my denominator I'm going to, have to bring my 2 over, I'm going to bring my 2 over, and radical 25 is really 5, so I'm going to end up multiplying these two. 15 is already simplified, so that's going to remain 15. 
So my final answer is going to be radical 15 over 10. Okay, I'd like for you to work one like this. Radical 8 over 5 radical 10. Okay, if you'll please freeze the video and solve that for me, please. All right. So we have a radical and our denominator, and we want to get rid of this radical and our denominator. You can't have a ra radical. So we're going to rationalize our, de our denominator, and we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by radical 10. So I'm going to multiply radical 8 times radical 10, which is radical 80. And I'm going to bring my 5 over. And radical 10 times radical 10 is radical 100. So now I'm going to bring my 5 over again. And radical 100 is really 10. But radical 80, I need to simplify radical 80. So I'm going to have to make a factor tree for 80. So let's see. Let me put it, put it right here, 80. So I have um, 4 and 20 have 2 and 2. 20 is going to break down to 5 and 4. And 4 is going to break down to 2 and 2. So underneath my radical I'm going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Here's a perfect square. Here's a perfect square. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of this 4 is 2. They both, go, they both go on the outside and bring your 5, so 5 down. So that's going to be 4 radical 5. So now in my numerator, instead of me writing radical 80, instead of me writing radical 80, I can write 4 radical 5. Well, let's simplify this. I have 4 radical 5 over 5 times 10 is 50. I can simplify this, the 4 fiftieths. I can simplify the 4 fiftieths by dividing by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 50 divided by 2 is 25. So my final answer is going to be 2 radical 5 over 25. Alright, that's it for today.